It's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and today I have an amazing 30 minute one pot dinner for you. It's chicken stir fries and people are loving it. You can get the full recipe in the link in the description below. Let's go! We're gonna make an amazing dinner tonight. This chicken stir fry recipe is an easy skillet dinner that the entire family is gonna love. The first thing we're gonna do is make our fry sauce and set it aside. Our fry sauce is simply some soy sauce, some cornstarch, some chicken broth, and some honey. I'm not, I'm just eyeballing it instead of actually measuring it out with the honey. We're gonna whisk this together. And then we're just gonna set this aside because this we're gonna put it at the very end. I like to have it ready so we don't overcook any of our veggies when we're making our stir, stir fry. The great thing about this recipe, it's a one pot dinner, so we're only gonna dirty up one dish. So we're gonna set this aside. Now we're going to cook our chicken first. So I have a little bit of oil, about a tablespoon, to help fry the chicken into the skillet. Now our, we are using boneless, skinless chicken breast that we have diced up. You can also use boneless, skinless chicken thighs and dice those up as well. Honestly, with this recipe, you could substitute many different things to make the same recipe. You could do like ground chicken. You could do uh, ground pork or dices of pork and you could probably even do beef would be delicious in this recipe as well. So we're gonna cook this over medium high heat for about three to five minutes until the chicken is cooked through. We're gonna add our salt and pepper to season the chicken and continue cooking. Again, this is just gonna take about three to five minutes, depending how crowded your pan is, to get the chicken nice and brown and cooked through. Now that our chicken is browned nicely throughout, we're going to remove the chicken from the pan and put it onto a plate so we can cook our vegetables so that way we don't overcook and our chicken is really dry. Now that the chicken is cooked through, we're going to get our veggies ready and get them cooking in the same pan. Remember, this is a one pot meal. Woo, woo. So we're gonna do a half of two bell peppers, two different colors, and we're gonna cut those into slices. Sorry, I was too busy talking and cutting at the same time. Okay. So I'm just taking the core out of the vegetables and then we're gonna cut them in slices and then into bite-sized pieces. Go ahead. I'm going to pour the remaining of the olive oil into the pan and let it get heated up while we're tossing in these vegetables to get them cooking. red and a yellow pepper but you can use any color of bell peppers and honestly you can do any kind of vegetable that you would like because it's a stir fry stir fries are great just for an easy weeknight dinner but they're also great to throw in like anything you have left over in your fridge from the week so like today we're doing bell peppers and broccoli and carrots but cauliflower would be great in these um 
pretty much any vegetable would be great in jubilees. So anything that you might have left over that you haven't used for the week, you can throw those in. So we also have already shredded one um, carrot. It was about a half a cup of shredded carrots. I'm gonna throw those right on top. And then we're going to do some broccoli. I'm gonna cut them off of the main stem, but I also want to dice them up smaller. So they're more of a bite size piece. So now that I've cut them into the florets, then I'm going to make them smaller into more bite sized pieces for the stir fry. Toss these in. Again, we want everything in kind of bite sized pieces. these in the skillet. Let me clean this up and move this out of the way. And then we're going to move this around and get this cooking. We're going to continuously saute these vegetables just like we did with the chicken um, to get them nice and soft and to your desired you know, consistency or firmness of the vegetables that you like. We kind of like our vegetables around here still a little crunchy, but we definitely want them cooked through. But if you like your veggies softer, you'll just want to cook them a little bit longer. These vegetables are just going to take maybe five minutes or so to get to the soft consistency that we like. Okay, so my peppers are cooked. They are cooked a little bit firmer than what I like in my stir fry because we still have to cook our garlic and add the chicken in the fry sauce so they will get softer as we finish the recipe so what i'm basically telling you is make sure they are not completely to the tenderness that you like or you're just going to get a soggy nasty mush so it's kind of like when you see a recipe that says cook the pasta al dente because you're probably cooking it later it's the same thing with your vegetables so just cook them until it's a little bit firmer than what you like so now that that's done we're going to add our garlic and our ginger. Now, the reason we don't add this at the beginning is because garlic can burn easily, and this is minced garlic today. Garlic can burn easily in a skillet, so we like to add it and cook it around for about one to two minutes. Now, that will, you will smell the aroma and it just smells amazing. Um, but you don't want that garlic to burn because burnt garlic is not good. Tip of the day, tip of the day. So for about one to two minutes, we're gonna saute this. The minced garlic has been cooked. You can smell it, it smells amazing. So now we're going to add the chicken back in and stir it in to heat it back up. Remember the chicken's already cooked. So we're just gonna heat it back up with the veggies and stir it around. It smells so good. I wish we had smell-o-vision but we don't so take my word for it or just go to the recipe in the link in the description and you can make this yourself and you'll see how amazing it is okay that is finished the last thing we have to do if you remember at the beginning of the video is we had our sauce that we prepared beforehand and that was the soy sauce the cornstarch some honey and some broth so I'm going to re-whisk that together and make sure it's whisked through then we're going to add it to our skillet. I'm going to stir to combine that sauce. Ooh, it smells good. We're going to allow this to continue to heat up. And the cornstarch, as it heats up, thickens that fry sauce to make a delicious tasty glaze it's, it's just so good all over the chicken and the vegetable mixture so as you can see with our vegetables they're continuing to cook while we're doing this and that's why you want to make sure your vegetables are not cooked 
completely to your liking. Okay, this dinner's ready, friends. Super simple and easy. The last thing we need to do is add some sesame seeds on top to make it extra fancy. You can serve this as is, or you can also serve it on a bed of rice. It's delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It smells and looks amazing. I'm just going to serve it as is today, but it's also delicious on rice as well. This is one recipe you're going to have to make. Thanks so much for joining me today. I told you it's super simple and it's super delicious. Get the full recipe in the link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our family friendly recipes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, this smells so good.